In this application, we're going to look at using a Acuity APA20-5 laser line sensor to look at the very small welds on this very shiny, it looks like a stainless steel tube, and we're going to try to pick up these very fine welds, the, the overage and the undercuts on these welds, and of course, as you can see, we've got the laser mounted on little V-blocks, and we have it on a linear slide, and as you can see, as I move this down the, the part, you can see what we're talking about with this, the weld joint right there. And let's just move that up so we can see it a little bit. A little bit better. With this laser, we've got a depth of field of about 5.9 millimeters. And the laser line's between 4 and 5 millimeters in length with a resolution of about 3 microns, which is almost a tenth of a thousandth, and a linearity of plus or minus 3.5 thousandths of an inch. So as you can see from this, we are getting very good data from it, uh, very clear. So if we came in here and we started zooming that up, you can see right here is a little of the undercut. There's the weld fillet and probably a little bit more undercut there. So let's take a look at this. Let's use some tools on this where we're going to put in a circle fitting. And let's add some of the circle fitting just to what we're trying to do here is we're going to just force a, force a circle here. And the purpose is, as you can see with this round tube, you can see right here is that little undercut. And here's the, the over that circle fit, which is the weld, which would tell us from this, we can pretty much, you would be able to calculate the length of that. And here, that's that's approximately a little over a millimeter, between 40 and 50 thousandths of an inch right here, that weld. And of course, you can, we can zoom it up. And all this data is in there. So uh, graphically, it's probably not as easy as, to see as if we were, if we were trying to make that measurement taking strictly the numbers. And as you can see here, as I'm fitting that circle, I'm getting a much better data here so we can easily calculate that length. Here's a millimeter, a little over three point, call it 1.2 millimeters uh, to measure that. And of course, as I move it, you can see that that circle fitting software goes with it and makes those calculations. So pretty good demonstration of how we're able to measure that width and the height and any undercut of that part. Let's take a quick look. Let's go ahead and um, move this into 3D view. And we'll just take, as you can see, we've been taking that same data, put it in 3D settings. And let's just make that static. And of course here, um, not quite sure you can see this on this display as well. Let me just zoom that back in real slowly. And here you can see there, there's that weld. You can see right there in the color, that change in height. And if you look here real carefully, you can see the, the mesh lines of that weld. So the, so the laser is picking up that weld uh, and it's, if you look at all that data, you don't see a lot of spurious reflections or anything. And this is with a red laser. Might be interesting also to try it with a blue laser, uh, which would probably perform, perform a little cleaner on this real specular surface. But just a quick uh, application to show you how we're able to pick up this very small uh, laser, I mean, very small welding on this tube.